The victims of the attacks come from all walks of life. A travel agent, a barista, a bouncer. While different in so many ways, Sunday morning, they all had one thing in common. They would not make it out of Pulse nightclub alive. It was another difficult day for victims' family members as more relatives received the heartbreaking news that their loved ones were among the dead. We know of at least five victims who are from the Bay Area, including Christopher Sanfeliz, a banker from Tampa. Jen Holloway just spoke with a friend of Sanfeliz's, and Jen, this news is devastating for friends and family of his as it is for all of these victims' families. And he was well-loved, Jen. Those who knew him here, they're in shock. Chris Sanfeliz, he worked at J.P. Morgan Chase as a personal banker. He was described not only as a great banker, but an amazing young man who always had a warm smile on his face. Those who knew Chris Sanfeliz are at a loss for words tonight. You know, you hear about it in Paris and you hear about it in New York and, uh, and you never think that's ever going to happen to you or you're ever going to know anybody. But for Devin Chamberlain, the news was grim when she heard about her fellow classmate and band member from Gaither High. Chris Sanfeliz was confirmed among the deceased in the Orlando Massacre shooting at Pulse Nightclub. Chris was probably one of the kindest souls you've ever met. He would do anything for anybody. He was everybody's friend. Another victim, Christopher Andrew Lenonen, went to Seminole High School. Christopher's name, or Drew as they called him, appeared on that list of the names of people who lost their lives. Drew's mother has been on TV since yesterday, pleading with everyone to keep an eye out for her son. We're totally heartbroken to hear the news that just came out about Drew and see that his name is being put on the list. Another name on that list, 34-year-old Edward Sotomayor of Sarasota. Loved ones say that he worked for a travel company specializing in gay cruises and loved to party with people. His close friend calling him a hero. I really believe that Eddie saved his partner's life. His partner was outside uh, loading uh, the trunk of the car uh, when the shooting began. And he texted uh, Eddie, and Eddie uh, told him about the shots and that he uh, was hiding, but he was safe. But he told him not to come back into the club. A true hero indeed. Now, we also understand, getting back to Chris's story, that Gaither High's marching band is possibly putting together a very special event to remember that young man. The date is sometime later on this week, Wednesday, possibly Thursday. The stories are just impossibly sad. Jen Holloway, live in the Tampa News Center for us tonight. Thanks, Jen.